Hello and welcome. This is James Blanchard, Cisneros, at your service. Today I'm going to share a thought on uh, judgment of self. Let us imagine a past self, a present self, and a future self. Now let us go back to our past self. Imagine our past self and all that he, she went through, uh, all the suffering, uh, the mistakes, the resentment, the anger, the judgment of self and others that this person went through. Now, let us come back to our present self and look back at our past self. Did not what we went through through our past self help us become a wiser, more generous, more compassionate, more forgiving human being? And so if our past self helped us become who we are today, a much wiser being than we were in the past, Shouldn't we be offering gratitude to our past self instead of judging our past self? Okay, now, imagine your future self. If your past, if your present self, excuse me for that, if your present self is grateful for your past self, for what he, she went through to become who you are now, wouldn't your future self also be grateful to your present self for all he, she is going through now? All the errors or mistakes, errors, mistakes, judgment, self-criticism, uh, regret, resentment, anger. So all this stuff that you think you're going through now, that you're thinking in negative terms, what, that you're putting yourself down for as not good enough, not wise enough, not spiritual enough, not worthy of peace, not whatever enough. Isn't this experience going to make you a wiser, more compassionate, forgiving being in the future? And so isn't your future self going to be grateful to your present self for all that he, she went through to become a wiser, more compassionate being? And so you see, even though we judge ourselves in the past and in the present, when we look at ourselves through wisdom, through, the, through time, we see how, how we can shift from a place of judgment to a place of gratitude for what we went through to become who we are today and today once we realize that we're going to see that our, once we realize that our past our future self is going to be grateful to our present self then we stop judging ourselves so harshly of what we're going through right now because we're just becoming a greater and greater being a, uh, more and one with God's source more loving more compassionate more kind, more forgiving. And so every part of our journey is helping us become more and more aligned with God. And so be grateful for every step on the ladder. Once you're in the rooftop, don't judge the steps on the ladder because they help you get to the rooftop. Each step on the ladder helps you get there to the rooftop. And each step of the ladder gets you closer to getting to where you want to be. And so let us offer gratitude instead of judgment. And let us not see our see uh, and focus on such things as mistakes and errors and judgments and angers and all that because they were part of a process that is helping us develop into who we truly are and who we truly came to be and who we came to be an example of. And we'll see once we return home how every moment was indeed a gift that was offering us an opportunity to align with a greater self-awareness with a higher level of consciousness and when we get to heaven we'll see that but we don't have to wait to get to heaven to find peace now to let go of that self-judgment now when we decide to trust more in God's plan that he has co-created with us instead of trusting in the ego and receiving what the, the ego what trusting in the ego results you know the judgment of self and others the anger, the resentment, the thinking that you're not good enough, wise enough, special enough, not worthy enough, that's the result of trusting in the ego's plan for your life. When you remember that you have co-created your journey with God's source, you'll start trusting that every moment is sacred. And so you will stop, you will start reducing your self-judgments. And when you start, because we're all one, when you stop, stop reducing your self-judgments, you stop reducing your judgments of other people. And equally so, when you stop judging other people, because we're all one, you have less and less judgment within you. And when you have less and less judgment, you have more and more peace. And as a creation of God, you're worthy of peace. And so today, practice letting go of your self-judgments. You don't need them. 
instead trust God's the plan that you co-created with God and find peace and know that your future self is going to be so grateful to your present self for all you're going through to become a more wiser compassionate forgiving compa um, compassionate being just as your present self is great, great for your past self. Okay, try to keep this video short. It's about five minutes long. Thank you so much for your time. I love you very much. If you'd be so kind as to like, comment, and share this video, it would help in the listening process. It might help somebody find this information who can use it someday. If you'd like to leave me a comment or a question, I will be delighted to try and offer a response. And if you can please subscribe to my YouTube channel, I would love to have you in that community. Again, let us practice today letting go of self-judgment. Let, let us let go of uh, trusting in the ego's plan for our life, of our judgments, of our resentments, and trusting God's plan and find peace. Because you're God's creation and you're worthy of peace. You're worthy of peace. You don't have to wait until you return home to have peace. You can have peace now. Thank you.